Italian may have bruised forearms tomorrow, but he'll have a gold medal to hold him with. Gonna hold with him. It takes a lot of energy for Ruben Carlos to throw those big punches. There was another good hook. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. That's it. Squat and get up. Come on. Squat, get up. See, you can do that. You can do that. Well, don't just stand there. This guy's going to keep hitting you. Squat a little bit. So you have to yeah, put, you can put the pressure on these punches. You throw first. Can't hear anything. Be intelligent, be smart. Okay? Okay, be smart. He can't do anything. We're doing very well. We have a corner is the first one, we round believe, number four, where the fighter does not get told the score. <laughs> All they told him is he's doing well. He's doing real well, he's got a two-point lead. Less than four minutes to go in the bout now. As long as he doesn't get careless, Jim, he'll be okay. If he gets careless, he could get knocked out. But right now, he has Rubicop working too hard. Rubicop does not want to work like this. He's getting tired, and he's getting hit. Oh, good by the shot. Oh, what a left hand. Like I told you. He's got a quick left hook. I told you he's a big puncher. He just has to punch. He's a big puncher, but he can't get careless. Nine point margin now for Paolo Bidos. Trying to score one of the biggest upsets in the tournament. He does bronze medalist at the World Championship, so he's not without credentials. Tired, Jim. When you see him start throwing that big ball, he's getting tired. And that takes more energy than a regular straight punch would take. It looks like uh, Paolo Vidosa's mother and sisters who don't like the fact that he's a boxer are going to have to put up with it for at least a couple more years. <laughs> this guy's going to be a factor in Seoul. He's Sydney. I mean Sydney. Thank you. Rubicop is getting tired and he's not scoring, Jim. And his punches are getting lighter. Oh, good shot. Excellent uppercut for the Italian. Of course, he doesn't get credit for it. But he landed it. <laughs> I don't think the judges have ever seen a good uppercut. <laughs> yeah, Rubicop is looking at the clock too, Jim. That means he's definitely getting tired. Yep. All right, right. And up the middle by the Italian. Didn't get credit for that one either. Could have been up 10 3. Oh, perfect punch that he landed right on the jaw. Never got credit for it. Now, here's the best combination the Italian has thrown. Look at that a left to the body and bang a left upstairs. The uppercut that didn't count knocked, almost knocked Rubo Cabo's head right off of his shoulders. Paolo Vidos of Italy is two minutes away from a gold medal against the six foot ten inch giant Alexis Rubo Cabo of Cuba. You see what's going on in the Cuban's corner? You fight now. You fight. I take the glove out here right Rubicaba now. Rubicaba in the face. Out of the ring. Because he was giving him some lip. I'll see the cigar I slapped Rubicaba in the face. Yep. He also tried to take his head off and stop the fight. Because <laughs> if you don't want to fight. Round number five. <laughs> oh, a disgusted cigar. Rubicaba tries that big right hand and they don't tattoos him to the body four straight times. He may get, get Rubicaba knocked out now. Another good left hook in there for Bidos. Again, it didn't score. Those four body shots really hurt Rubicaba. But and now there's cut. blood under the right eye of uh, Paolo Bidos. And Rubicaba gets in the left hook of his own. Again, it doesn't score. Two tired, Roy, you're right. Yeah, he can't fight when he's behind. You know the Cuban 
them get tired. They want to run this round. He doesn't want to fight this round. I told you, they all get tired. They want to run the last round. Now he has to try to come from behind. He's not going to do that. And he goes down from a body shot. Rubalcaba taken to his knees by a body shot, which, of course, didn't score. Right. Not only that, I, you know what I thought, Jim? I thought that he thought he might get a foul on that shot and, and win on a foul. That's the only reason he took a knee bend. You agree, Jim? That's the only reason he took a knee bend, Larry, because he thought he might get a foul. You're right. He's but desperate out all the stops. Well, he's got every trick. The other night, he laid all over Dominic Quinn in the fifth round to ensure his victory in that bout. Now he takes a run-up javelin right hand, and Bigos, who is not afraid, blocks it again. None whatsoever. He's not afraid of anything. That's why I told you from the beginning, if he just fights, he can win this fight. He's not afraid of Ruth Cobble at all. See that? He has no fear. Took by Bigos. The crowd is really warming to the Italian fighter. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> the Cuban back didn't get credit for a point on that left hook. Blood flowing down the face of Bidos, but he won't mind. He's 15 seconds away from Goodwill Gold. Well, we haven't heard the Italian national anthem yet. We're about to get it. Nice. Something new. What a victory for Paolo Bidos. <laughs> All credit to Roy Jones, who at the outset of the fight in the first round picked the Italian fighter and said he could win. Most of the people in the arena thought this was going to be a shoe-in win for Rubacaba. Now, here's the uh, sequence right after the fourth round when, as Larry told you, Alcida Segara was so disgusted with Rubacaba that he... Well, let's see what happens. Trying to take the headgear off. Rubacaba pushes him away. That's the most emotional we've seen Alcida Segara with any of his fighters through the competition. Here's the body shot. And a little low blow there. And that's why Rubacaba went down, was because he knew the punch was below the belt, and he thought he could get a foul. But the referee was on the other side of Bidos when it happened. Here's the decision. I don't know what they're waiting for. The final bout of the evening. Five points. Nine to three. The winner comes from the red corner from Italy. Halo Vidas. And a nice little hand of applause from Alcides Segarra and the other Cuban coach for the guy who so richly deserved to win the fight, Paolo Vidos of Italy. And the medals for this division. Vidos gets gold, Rubacaba gets silver. Dominic Quinn of the USA 